Hello, and welcome to my next tutorial. Today, we're going to be making one of these oddly satisfying heart things. Yes, I know. It's weird, but it's cool. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with a box. We're going to make the length 155. And then we're going to change this to one millimeter. Very nice. The height is going to be seven. Now you can play with these dimensions. That is totally acceptable. You just have to keep the, the steps in mind when you're doing this. Okay. So let's move this over to the center. Now I'm going to turn it over with my mouse here. I'm going to duplicate this control D and then I'm going to move it over with the arrow key. 10 times, ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, that's my second one, so I'm gonna hit Control D. I'm gonna keep on hitting Control D until I have 15, so this is the second. Now, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, now I'm gonna group them all. Very important part to do this, so don't skip this. Control G, okay. Now I'm going to duplicate control D and then rotate 90 degrees. There it is. So there's most of it. Okay. Now we're going to get a cylinder and I'm going to hit shift, hold the shift button down and then move this. And then I'm going to change that to five because then it means everything around here is now five, 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 and five. I'll maximize the sides. Now I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees there. I'm going to make this length down here, 160. Okay. And now I'm just going to bring it over here. Okay. Now let's look at it from this side. Oh, I happen to get it perfectly centered to that section right there. You see that it's centered. Now let's pretend it wasn't centered and then you just want to move it over so that the center of this aligns with the center of that. Okay. Not bad. Now I'm going to move this down negative 2.5 right here, negative 2.5. Notice I started moving it down and then that number appeared. That's what I wanted to do exactly. Okay. Now I'm going to actually, I'm going to use the arrow key to move it forward a little bit that way. Now I'm going to duplicate this control D and I'm going to move it up seven spots or seven millimeters. Sorry. There's the numbers on the side and I'm just going to click seven. That didn't work. I wonder why. Let me see. Is it five or was it four? Four seems like it's too much. What do you guys think? Yeah, that does seem like it's too much. And that seems like it's too little. So I'm going to change this to 0.5. Great. I hope I get this right. That is better. So. 4.5, let's do this again, just to make sure. I'm gonna duplicate this, Control D, and move it up. What was the good number here? Four and a half, okay, four and a half. Now, I'm gonna Shift, hold the Shift button down, and then click on this. Now, I'm gonna duplicate it, Control D, and then move it over 10 spots after I change this to one. So, now it's gonna, oh, that went up, I didn't see that. Again, I got rid of it. Now I'm going to click again, one, this one and this one, holding the shift button, control D that's already at one millimeter. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let me make sure that's, yep. That is centered. Now I'm going to hit control D till it covers each one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Of course I had the two from before. Okay. So we're good now. Please pay attention to this next part. Very close attention. I'm going to click on the space in between the two cylinders right there. I'm going to make them disappear. I'm going to hide them. Now I'm going to group all of these control G and that's going to give me the holes I want in between these two. Now, don't forget if you want to support this channel, you can go ahead and click on any of the links, the affiliate links in the description. And that way you can help me make more of these videos. So we're done with that part right there. Let's go ahead and uh, 
Oh, yeah, we're going to show the missing one. Now we're going to do the same exact thing with this one. I'm going to hit shift and hold it down. And now it's going to be five as well. And this time we're going to rotate it in the opposite direction. Hopefully I remember. Yeah, this direction. 90 degrees as well. And we're going to make this one again, 160. Now I'm going to drag this over here. Hopefully I get lucky again and put it right in the center and I didn't. Okay. I forgot to maximize the sides. Okay. So I'm going to click it over one time with the arrow key. It's centered. Now I'm going to move it up one. Oh, twice. My bad. One. That's all I want. You see how it's centered, right? Centered to the top of the bottom and centered left and right. So now I'm going to duplicate and then move it over 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to make sure there's one for each one of these by hitting Control D. Notice it's still selected. I didn't click anywhere else. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I must have counted wrong. Anyways, now I don't want a hole here because this one has already been manip manipulated. So I'm going to click on that one right there and make it disappear. There's the hide button. And now I'm going to group these right here. Now you're going to think that you're all done, but there's some other tricky part that you need to understand when we're working with this. Okay. So, oh, I guess I didn't select that one too. And while that's processing, I'm going to unhide the previous one. And there we go. So here's something that I learned when making the heart. Actually, let's make the heart first. Now do not, I mean, I guess you can choose this one if you want. I'm not, I really don't like that one. So I'm going to do a search for heart and I want this one right here. What's the difference? I'll show you the difference actually. Hopefully you guys can see it. There's the other one. Sure. It's bigger, but look at it. Look at the difference. You can see like little tiny lines and there are no lines here. So I like that one. Okay. So we're going to make this, I'm going to hit shift and then 145. All right. So they're both about 145. This one's a little bit bigger just because the heart is a little bit off. Isn't that the truth? So there's, I put it to 14. It doesn't matter as long as it's bigger than seven because this is the height and we're going to want Let's make this a hole. Now we're going to want a box. Let's make this 160 by 160. 160 by 160. All right. Um, let's make this one just taller than the box. I guess we could have made the box lower, but we're going to select both of these. Click the letter L and align it in both directions. All right. So now I'm going to select both and then control G to group. And then I'm going to lower this to, let's say eight. Now I made this a hole and I think we can align these two. Oh, let me group this one first, control G. And this is the part that I messed up when I printed this the first time. And what you're looking at now, actually the, the finished product is actually my third attempt. I know I have some students that they're like, I don't care what Mr. Amparo did. I am going to make my own numbers, my own design and then fail miserably. Okay. So control L center center. Okay. Look down here. Let's look at this part right here. This little piece is going to fall off once it's printed because there's nothing holding it in place. So to keep it in place, I'm going to move this one, this uh, box with the heart missing down a little bit. Okay. That will keep it in place. I like that better. Okay. It's going to spin around a lot. Don't get me wrong. That will spin around a lot, but let's take a look here and there. Now that one's going to spin around a lot too. So let me see if I can fix that. Let me look what would fix it. All right. Let's try fixing it this way. I'm going to go down to the very edge right there. Now let's see what it does over here. Okay. I like that better because you're not going to have any spinning pieces on the top of the heart. You're going to have these pieces completely intact and you're just going to have one thing spinning. And I'm, I'm okay with that. The bottom of it spinning. Um, 
Yeah, let's call it. There you go. We're going to group everything. And let's see what this looks like. And when we're done with this, don't forget to like and subscribe and play with your heart all you like. Oh, you know what? I need to get rid of that, but I think you guys know how to do that. I'll show you just in case you just do this and group it and we're good. So have a great day. Enjoy the tutorial and let's see your hearts. Have an awesome day.